Hey YouTube world, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries back in the garage. And as you can see behind me, we have a beautiful redesigned 2022 Yamaha MT-10. And in front of me, we have a full suite of Womatec Crash Protection products. Now we will be doing individual installation videos, so be sure to stick around. But I did just wanna give you a quick overview of the products we currently offer from Womatec for this particular model. And that way you can check out our website if you're interested. So to begin with, front of the motorcycle, we do have the Womatec fork sliders. These are a pass-through axle system with two Delrin end caps. Moving a bit back, we do have the Womatec case savers. These are the exact same case savers that the Westby Racing Team used in the Moto America Race Series when we sponsored them. We also use them on our own personal race bike. This system is a two case saver system, one for each side of the bike, so be sure to check that out. Moving a bit back, we do have the Womatec frame sliders. These are a single point frame slider system. Currently, as of July 2022, Womatech does not offer an Evos frame slider system for this bike. If the demand calls for it or if they decide to do that, that will change in the future. But for now, we will be doing the installation on the one point slider system. Going up from the frame sliders, we do have the Womatech bar ends. By default, these come in black. We do offer a few different colored accent rings. So be sure to check out the installation video for the bar ends specifically as well as our tech tip on how to replace the Womatech colored accent bar rings if you're interested in that. And lastly, moving to the rear of the bike, for the swing arm, we do have three solutions. So the choice is entirely up to you, but starting with the smallest, we do have the Womatech anodized spools. These are an anodized aluminum spool system meant to be a lift point with a little bit of crash protection. Going a little bit bigger, we do have the Womatec spool sliders. Those are also a lift point, but they are a bigger material. They're made out of Delrin, which is the same material that your frame sliders are made out of. And they are, like I said, a lift point with more crash protection than the smaller anodized spools. And lastly, we do have the Womatec axle block protectors. These are the most expensive uh, for the swing arm protection kit. Uh, they do have a spool boss installed on them, so you can thread on a spool that's included in here. They are meant to be a protection for the axle block, and you can also adjust your chain uh, just like you would on the normal swing arm for this bike. And in this video, we will be installing the smaller of the three rear slider systems. We will be installing the anodized spools. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So coming over to the rear of the bike, as you can see, there are two spool bosses on the rear swing arm of the MT-10. So when installing spools or spool sliders, like the ones found on our website, it's pretty straightforward installation. I always recommend the rearmost mounting boss. That gives you the most leverage when lifting the bike. So what we will do is take our spools out of the box and grab the included hardware. And it's pretty straightforward. You have a bolt, you have a spool, feed the bolt through the spool and then thread it with a five mil T-handle, hex key, Allen key, whatever you'd like to call it. Bottom it out, and then go another eighth of a turn, and you're good to go. We'll copy this step over on the right-hand side of the bike, and we'll be ready to ride. All right, and with that, this installation is now complete. You all may be wondering, or you know, trying to figure out if I was joking during this installation process, and. Why do we need a video for this? But you'd be surprised what people ask us for. So hopefully this helps you install spools on your MT-10 or any other bike if you're trying to figure out how to install spools. If you wanna check these out or the spool sliders or the axle block protectors available for this bike, be sure to stop by our website, tstindustries.com. The link to these spools will be in the description of this video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment field below. As always, hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with all the new videos we will be putting out. And lastly, stop by our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all username TST Industries. For now, this has been Mark from TST. Catch you guys next time.